Hi, Dr. Yeager. Another question we often get is, how can you tell if you have an anxiety disorder as opposed to normal levels of anxiety or nervousness? So today's question deals with anxiety. What is an anxiety disorder? So experiencing occasional anxiety is actually just a part of normal life. However, people with anxiety disorders frequently have intense, excessive, or persistent worry and fear about everyday life situations. Oftentimes, anxiety disorders involve repeated episodes, sudden feelings of intense anxiety, fear, or terror that may peak within minutes, and we call these panic attacks. Again, they come on seemingly without provocation or warning, and many people report an ongoing process of fear of waiting for the next shoe to drop. These feelings of anxiety and panic interfere with daily activities and are difficult to control. They are out of proportion with the actual danger that is present and can last for an extended period of time, leading the individual to avoid places or situations to prevent feelings of anxiety. Oftentimes, the symptoms may start in childhood or the teen years and continue into adulthood. And anxiety is a disorder that oftentimes, what, because it starts in childhood, is untreated for a number of years with actually as many as 5, 10, or 15 years occurring prior to seeking treatment for anxiety disorders. Some examples of anxiety disorders include generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder or social phobia, specific phobias, or separation anxiety. And it is possible to have more than one anxiety disorder at the same time. So what are the symptoms that we're looking for? Common anxiety symptoms include feeling nervous, restless, or tense, having a sense of impending danger, panic or doom, an increased heart rate, breathing rapidly or hyperventilation, sweating, trembling, feeling weak or tired, having trouble concentrating or thinking about anything other than the present worry, having trouble sleeping, experiencing gastrointestinal or GI problems, having difficult controlling worry, or having difficulty um, with participating in normal daily activities because you are seeking to avoid anxiety symptoms. For many people, anxiety as they have experienced it becomes a part of their normal life. And it is not until the anxiety you are experiencing begins to get in the way of your daily functioning that you may wanna seek assistance. Again, as we had said in previous videos about depression, you may not be able to see this as it may feel like part of your normal life. But others might be able to say, why are you so worried about this? Or you seem to be overly anxious given the circumstances. These are all symptoms that are worth exploring. So seeking assistance from a healthcare provider to help you to determine if there is an anxiety disorder present. And some of the treatments for this could involve uh, medication, but also therapy. And in fact, the evidence suggests that the best combination is oftentimes therapy in conjunction with medication to help address the symptoms of anxiety. Again, it may be a single episode within your life, or it may be a series of episodes of anxiety. It may be associated with difficult coursework, or challenges in your academic work. Nevertheless, in your personal life, your academic life, your work life, anxiety can become a barrier to completing the things that you are hoping to achieve. So we hope this answers some questions about your anxiety and that you might be able to launch a path and a course towards recovery. Thank you very much.